Little ways to be less selfish every day. All we need to do is be kind. While everyone can be successful, determined, and hardworking, very few possess the ability to show empathy and compassion. These traits are truly admirable, reflecting a positive attitude and selflessness. It's time to stop being selfish and start making the world a better place. Here are some simple ways to become less selfish and kinder each day. 1. Reach out to people often. You should regularly check in with people and ask how they've been doing. Calling your mother or a distant relative can bring back fond memories of time spent together. It will also help you feel refreshed and show that you care for those you haven't spoken to in a while. 2. Listen, carefully. Patiently waiting for someone to finish speaking demonstrates maturity. If someone trusts you enough to share details of their life, it's important to listen. It takes a lot of patience to hear people's vulnerabilities, but this will make you a more empathetic listener. 3. Help others actively. Don't hesitate to compliment someone, as it can instantly brighten their mood. To offer a genuine compliment, you need to pay attention to their actions or traits. This practice helps you understand people better and socialize more effectively, ultimately strengthening your interpersonal relationships. 4. Give compliments. Don't hesitate to run quick errands for others without expecting anything in return. Instead of being grumpy when asked for help, offer a smile and assist willingly. Taking a few moments to help someone in need won't harm you, but it will help you become less selfish. 5. Practice Thank You Gratitude is the key emotion that fosters empathy and care. Always express your thanks when someone helps you, even in small ways. This not only leaves a positive impression on others but also makes you feel happy and satisfied. You'll be pleasantly surprised by how highly others regard you for such thoughtful behavior. Things to do outside the bedroom for a better sex life. A good sex life encompasses more than just the act itself. It includes how you and your partner interact, the vibe, the passion, and the overall environment, all contributing to a sensual experience. The fire of passion and intimacy doesn't have to be confined to the bedroom, engaging in activities together can also ignite desire. Here are some ideas for enhancing your sex life outside the bedroom. 1. Shopping together. Shopping for clothes together can heighten sexual tension between you and your partner. Watching your partner try on something attractive can be a major turn-on, often leading to a steamy, intimate session back in the bedroom. 2. Cook together. You can make cooking sexy by licking each other's fingers for a taste or using whipped cream to add a sensual touch. This will definitely ignite feelings of passion and is a therapeutic activity that can strengthen your bond even more. 3. Working out together. By working out together, you'll definitely keep the temperature soaring. Watching your significant other exercise, with all that sweat and perfect posture, can be a thrilling experience and will undoubtedly put you in the mood for intimacy. 4. Planning a trip together. Planning a vacation or trip with your partner will spark excitement for both of you. Organizing a romantic getaway involves choosing cozy hotel rooms, creating an itinerary, and even picking out clothes for the trip. The anticipation of spending quality time together will enhance your sensual feelings. 5. Dancing together. Sharing a lap dance or dancing bachata together can be both sensual and playful if you're both in the mood. Moving closely with your partner can heighten arousal and lead to a steamy makeout session. Interspersing kisses, cuddles, and hugs during the dance can make the experience even more delightful. Signs your guy friend likes you but is afraid to admit it. Are you wondering if your relationship with your guy friend is purely platonic? If so, it can be challenging to determine where you stand. 
If he desires a romantic relationship but is hesitant to express it, he may be skilled at concealing his feelings. However, there are certain signs you can look for, even if he's trying hard to hide them. Here are some indicators that your guy friend might have romantic feelings for you but is afraid to admit them. 1. He acts nervously around you. It's natural to feel nervous around someone you like. If your guy friend exhibits signs of nervousness around you, such as stuttering, blushing, or behaving awkwardly, it could indicate that he has feelings for you. This nervous behavior might be a clear sign that he is interested in you. 2. He remembers the small details. If someone remembers the small details, it indicates that they are truly attentive to you. Although we generally pay attention to all our friends, this level of attentiveness might suggest that he has romantic feelings for you. 3. He is interested in your love life. If your guy friend has secret feelings for you, he will likely take an interest in your love life. This could be his way of looking for a chance to hint that he likes you, or he might simply want to find out if you're available and what type of guys you're attracted to. 4. He looks for excuses to meet you alone. While hanging out with a group of friends can be enjoyable, it's natural to crave one-on-one -on -one time with people we like. If your guy friend has romantic feelings for you, he might find reasons to spend time with you alone. 5. He compliments you. If your guy friend frequently makes positive comments about you, it could be a sign that he's genuinely impressed. By showering you with compliments, he might be subtly signaling his interest in you. 6. You catch him staring at you. It's hard to look away from someone we have feelings for. It's natural to be drawn to the person we're interested in. If you frequently notice him staring at you, it's a clear indication that he likes you. 7. He seems to get jealous or protective when you date other people. A guy who has secret feelings for you may display jealousy or overprotectiveness. For instance, he might try to dissuade you from dating certain people or become protective when you're hurt. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.